Howdy, it's me, Moondrop. I know it's been a while, but I've had a lot of life stuff going on, you know, like university and everything that comes with that, that's eating up a lot of my time. I have been doing a lot of art though, and a while back, actually for a long time now, I've been wanting to redesign my Warriors OCs. Now, I kind of had a story for them, but I've never expanded much on it. But I still really like the characters, and I want to redesign them because I think they're worthy of my time. So right now, I'm designing the OC that kind of started everything. This is Moonstar, the most basic <laughs> uh, OC what name. Like, I've seen a lot of moon stars. It's a pretty common one for people to have created, and it's no surprise that I created mine when I was like, oh boy, how old was I? Um, <laughs> 13? I don't know, I was pretty young. Anyways, Moonstar is the leader of Night Clan. You'll see her old reference, which isn't even the original reference. The old reference was pretty much Blue Star, like, <laughs> but I didn't want to just have, you know, the basic Moon Star name and Blue Star look because that's quite common. It's a very common uh, uh, design to fall into and I didn't want that. So uh, my second design, the design that you sometimes see that I'm referencing the colors from, kind of. Uh, <laughs> That was based off of Moon's, Moonflower's design. So I went from Blue Star to Moonflower, her mother. And I thought, you know, I like the colors, kind of. They're kind of nice colors, but I wanted to lean more into the Moon name. I wanted to have a more creative look for her because, you know, she's the one that I am most likely to draw, so I want her to have a fun design, not just a basic stripe design. I always fell into these basic patterns, and I actually made templates for them so it's easier to make the designs, but that got really annoying. They just all looked the exact same, and I hated it. So, I, <laughs> I'm redesigning them all, and I'm really happy with how she turned out in this. Uh, on her hind legs, she has this sort of uh, thing on the inside, a lighter color. And it looks a little strange because usually it's accompanied by a white belly, but I didn't want to give her like a white chest or belly because I, <laughs> I fell into that trope, into that character design a lot. And I didn't like it that much. It always looked just a little too funky. So. Yeah, here she is, leader of Night Clan, and that's all I'm doing today. I'm just doing Night Clan because, you know, it'd be crazy if I had all my clans in here because I have five clans, you know, five, and there's quite a few characters in them. I also did make a family tree for this. I'll show you the family tree for Night Clan right now because it does affect how the characters look. Uh, in Warriors, their designs and colors and stuff don't necessarily match uh, who they're related to at all, but I kind of wanted to have that sort of color design uh, conformity. <laughs> it just makes it easier to tell who's related to who because they look similar. So yeah, these are just going to be standard looking cats in Night Clan. They're not really special. <laughs> they're, they're standard. Next up on our topping block is the deputy. I'm kind of going in order of importance and then doing random characters. I want to get the important ones out of the way since, you know, I might use them actually. <laughs> so Owl Soul is the deputy and I really liked his name. Uh, I never heard of an actual warrior character in canon that was uh, named Owl and then Soul is like you know, it's so, but I thought that this name would mean he's like 
a very wise warrior and I thought he would be a very good deputy to have. You know, you would want a deputy that has a lot of knowledge. Um, although his original design was really, really bad. Like, I hated it. I don't remember what my original design for him was. I probably can pull it up somewhere, but like that would take a lot of digging. I would have to go back to my first map part and find which one he was because I can't remember. For his second design, the design that I'm referencing his colors off of, I uh, I can't remember how I figured it out, but I do remember for some of these warriors I couldn't think of any sort of interesting designs. You know, this <laughs> I was actually looking for design inspiration before I gave up and started copy pasting stripes and spots onto cats. So I somehow looked up an a warrior based on the prefix owl. And the design I got had a lot of stripes um on this brown uh cat there were a lot of these super dark gray stripes and I thought wow that looks really cool so what I did was I dumbed it down a little bit because oh boy those stripes looked like a lot of hard work and I didn't want that also it was not animation friendly at all so I was like I'm gonna make this a little easier for me and made him look really ugly <laughs> so in this design I changed up a lot. I kept the colors because the colors are pretty nice. Um, dark gray stripes on a brown tabby. Well, not tabby. It's a weird... It's, uh, it's a made-up design. No cats actually look like this, um, unfortunately. But, like, it was an interesting thing because I just, I never thought, oh, I can put gray on black. I was always thinking, like, you stick to one color, and then you can make it lighter or darker or slightly more saturated, and that's pretty much all you can do with these sort of natural cat colors. But <laughs> this definitely looked a lot better color-wise. Of course, I didn't apply it very well in my original design. Or, well, not original <laughs> Original for this. Um, I will paint him a lot beefier, you know, stronger looking. It looks like he could, you know, climb rocks really easy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, oh, look at those legs. Those are rock climbing legs. I'm also noticing that it seems like the heads don't really suit the body types for the cats. And I'm not sure why. Maybe the heads just look a little too bobbleheadish or cartoony. I don't know. The heads have definitely changed a lot because if you look at any of my old cat designs, they always had this a basic flat round face, which sounds weird because it's a round face, but it's flat. There wasn't dimension to it. There was no, uh, you know, snout or anything. So, yeah. I really like this new design for him. The tail is kind of strange, but like, I don't know how to fix that. It just looks like it was glued on. <laughs> so, if anyone knows, like, how to really fix that, that'd be great. Direct me to a video. I don't care. Please help me. Here, uh, we have Tiger Stripe, who is the medicine cat. <laughs> you know, the name Tiger um, inherently kind of makes you think of Tiger Star or Tiger Star 2 because there's two of them now. I haven't gone to the part in the books where Tiger Star 2 happens, but I know he becomes a leader because I've seen it all over the internet. Um, apparently he's good, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to make this character completely pure. I'm pretty sure that Tiger Star 2 trained in the Dark Forest with original Tiger Star 
and Rambleclaw, his son, also trained in the Dark Forest with him. So I wanted this boy to be the epitome of pureness. <laughs> and yeah, he is just someone who would not hurt a fly. Like, just look at him. Look at his face. Can that face do harm? I don't think so. Anyways, his design isn't the typical tiger pattern, you know, it's not a tiger clone. He's actually white with, like, black stripes, or dark gray, because black is not very good with shading. <laughs> so, I've lightened them up from the original design. He looks like a white tiger, because I love white tigers. They're so aesthetically pleasing. I love them. And I want my character to ha look like a white tiger, even though that's... Not natural, but who cares? It's an interesting design, and I like it. <laughs> I also imagine him being, uh, you know, a <laughs> I imagine him being gay. Just because, like, I don't know. <laughs> I want to give him a boyfriend at one point. I don't know who I'd put in that role, but he'd, he'd get a boyfriend, and no one can say anything. No one can say you can't have a boyfriend, because the only reason why it's, like, it's kind of a rule that's not even a rule in the warrior code. It's just kind of like, yeah, don't do this. It's not, like, the best idea. But they can't have kids. <laughs> you can't have kids with another dude. So, not an issue. Like, it just gets to be in love. And the other uh, medicine cats are upset about it because they're like, well, why does he get to have a, like, boyfriend? <laughs> and I don't. You know? It's because, like, the gays can't hurt you. They don't hurt- He's so sm- oh, I love this boy. Like, look at him. I feel like before he's out, he'd be like a heartthrob to a, a bunch of she-cats. And they'd feel very confused because they can't get with a medicine cat. But like, oh my god, he is just so cute. And then it turns out he's gay. And then it breaks everyone's heart. He unintentionally hurts people. <laughs> That's my- that's my head for this character. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that this is the son of Moonstar. So, with my original designs, with her looking like Blue Star, Tiger Stripe came out of left field. Like, his father does not look like him at all. He'll be drawing his father later, but um, yeah, he just looked really out of place. So, when I made her look more like Moonflower, in my second design of Moonstar, it made more sense because it's like he's just a lighter version of her. But now I want to have a little more creativity. I have a little spot in his toe that's dark, and I also have leg stripes on his hind legs. I used to do leg stripes all the time, but they were just kind of random. They didn't have any sort of pattern to them. They are just randomly slapped onto the legs and they looked funky. And they were very hard to keep consistent, so I just removed them altogether. I don't like doing them anymore, but the occasional stripe, you know, I think is nice. Especially if it's covering the, like, the knee, like his is, and then one that's just on the side. I think that's, that's a good one. He also shares his mom's, like, one side muzzle uh, being darker. Yeah. <laughs> I really love this boy. This character is uh, Daisy Foot, and I had to speed up hers quite a bit because uh, she she took longer than the rest to draw. I had to speed her up um, quite a bit, and mainly because I was trying to figure out how to change her design because I didn't like the stripes that she had. Like they kind of look a little funky. <laughs> so she is the daughter of Moonstar, making her Tiger Stripes brother. And she is, like, a very nice mom character, but she can kind of be judgy. She's she's Judgy McJudgerson, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. But, you know, she has two kits. We'll draw her kits later. Um, and she looks more like her dad. She has kind of similar colors to him. I'm also going to be changing up uh, their dad because his design is funky. And... <laughs> It's biting me in the butt because I'm actually, I've actually been doing a map part with these characters and I'm using their second design. So I'm going to have to like commit with it 
and just get past it. Get past those really ugly designs and then I can use these all I want. And I'm sorry for not animating much. Uh, it's really time consuming and I figured that it's not really my favorite thing to do. Especially since I've been, I've been trying to animate for four years now and it's, my art has gotten better. But my ab animation abilities have kind of stayed stagnant, and I don't, I don't know how to fix it. And also, I don't really want to spend a lot of time fixing it because I want to get better with my art. I really like art better than animating. Mm. Maybe PMVs are more my style, but like sometimes I feel like it's cheating because you're just drawing and then you're making everything pan and move. Like <laughs> I don't know. Finishing an animation is so, like, rewarding, but doing it is the worst. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no! My AC has come on! And I'm peeking the mic. Crap. I gave her a very floofy tail because I want her to be big and soft, you know? Like, if you're her kids, you'd want to cuddle her all the time. She's a very cuddly, cuddly cat. I also gave her some neck floof because neck floof is fun! And I don't imagine her dad's gonna have that next loop. I don't even know exactly what her dad's gonna look like, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be kind of similar, you know. I have to look up, like, he's named after a bird, but when I designed him, I don't think I used the right colors, so he looked very strange. <laughs> like, his name is Sparrow Feather, but he didn't look like a sparrow. He was brown. That's, and sparrows aren't brown, as far as I know. Well, maybe they are. It depends on what sparrow you're looking at, okay? <laughs> I really lightened her colors, like, especially the base one. The base one that she had on her second design was just kind of too dark, so I lightened her up a little bit to be more cream. And, you know, this looks more like daisy-ish to me. <laughs> I know her name is Daisy Foot, but her foot is white, and that doesn't really go with Daisy Foot because <laughs> her, her foot is not the color of a daisy. But who cares? I like the name Daisy Foot, and also, I really like this design! <laughs> I didn't want to give her a darker paw, I wanted to give her a white paw to match that white floofage. And her eyes, I made them a lot lighter. Ah, she's really nice looking. <laughs> she's adorable. Just like her brother. And looking back now, I can notice that I've messed up. Oh my god. <laughs> so, the you notice that she kind of has freckles on her face. She only has one one side of her face because I'm dumb. But I'm going to keep them because I guess that's something I haven't seen yet. And it's, it's pretty cool. Also, I decided to make her have like a little bit of a fade on her tail. So that it wasn't just one color. So this final character, I keep on messing up. I mess up his name, so sometimes I call him Swallow Feather, other times I call him Sparrow Feather. I think Sparrow Feather kind of suits it better because swallows are more dark. They're, um, they do have light brown chests, but the thing you see the most is their dark wings and their heads. So I guess Sparrow might look... <laughs> Might be a better choice. I also mess up which clan he's from. These are Night Clan cats, and he is a Night Clan cat, but he's originally from a different clan. <sighs> Can you even tell I was inspired by Moon Star? I mean, Blue Star. Ah, see, I even mix up the names. They're like clones. <laughs> originally, I had him stay in his own clan, which was Snow Clan, but I also confused it with Lake Clan. In the family tree, I wrote Lake Clan. So I guess he's from Lake Clan. It doesn't make much of a difference with his design or anything. But I decided, you know what, that's a little too similar to uh, Blue Star. Even though Moon Star gets to keep her own kits. I decided that after um, Sparrow Feather finds out that Moon Star is expecting, he goes to the clan with her. Because he wants to be a good father, and also he doesn't feel like 
Lake Clan is where he belongs anymore. If you notice, I'm trying to do some different poses here. I don't want to just do the same pose over and over again. That's kind of bland and boring and also <laughs> I'm not learning anything from it. You know, right now I'm struggling with this back leg. I have no idea how to draw it. It looks okay now that I'm like looking at it on the finished product because I'm used to it now. But just looking at it in this, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, mm, that's not good. I think the tail looks a lot better than on Tiger Stripe. Tiger Stripes, I mean, not Tiger Stripe, on Owl Soul. Owl Soul's tail looks really weird. And I don't know why. And <laughs> this one looks fine. Probably because it doesn't look like it's coming straight out of his body. It actually has some like mass to it. I don't I don't know. You'll notice here that I'm giving him some chest, uh different chest color. I said I usually don't do that anymore, but I thought, you know what? I don't want him to have a blank chest and I don't know what to put there, so I just made his chest white. Well, not white. It was a lighter color. You'll see that later, but yeah. I also gave him some spots, and oh my gosh, he looks like a- he looks like a wild cat. I don't know what kind of a wild cat. I'm thinking of maybe an African Sergal a little bit, but uh, or Serval? I don't know. <laughs> but he looks- he looks like a wild cat. I don't know which. I just keep looking at him and feeling like I drew a wild cat, which I guess they're wild cats, but like not in the sense of big cats. Their house cats are wild, pretty much. But yeah, like look at those colors. Don't those remind you of like a wild cat? <laughs> I lighten up um almost all of their eyes because the eyes are a little too saturated for my taste. I also gave him a little bit of an extra thing because I thought that his face was a little too um, empty. Uh, so I added a little bit of like, I don't know, eyebrow circles, that's what I call them. It's like little eyebrow circles, look at those. <laughs> there he is, my boy, Sparrowtail. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that I only got around to five characters today, but the video is pretty long as you can tell. <laughs> um, I don't have a proper outro, so I don't know, follow me on uh, Twitter, DeviantArt, you know, that's all I have. <laughs> Yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed.